Now to our top story. Stockton police stepping up traffic enforcement after a fifth death in under a month. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Janes. And I'm Curtis Ming. The woman was hit and killed while riding her bike near Hammertown and Tam O'Shanter Drive around 8 o'clock Saturday morning. CBS 13's Carlos Correa joins us live from the scene with a crackdown on deadly driving habits. Carlos. Yeah, police say education is the key. Extra officers are on patrol throughout the community as they take part in a special traffic enforcement operation. When it comes to sharing the road, Stockton police say everyone, whether you're walking, riding a bike, or driving a car, should be aware of everything around them. And what we've seen over the past month, some of these traffic fatalities could have been prevented if bicyclists and pedestrians just would have obeyed those simple rules. The Stockton Police Department has set up a primary collision factor enforcement operation that centers on drivers who speed, violate stop signs and red lights, and those who are distracted while driving. A lot of our accidents are caused by people that are texting and driving or on their cell phone. So that's why we're going to be paying particular attention to those drivers. The special enforcement comes just as police investigate the fifth deadly traffic collision in a month. Investigators say 23-year-old Stockton mother Serena Stanley was hit by a car as she was riding her bike. It's very sad just to have her life taken away in an instant. Loved ones say Serena was a fun-loving, family-oriented person who enjoyed being with her five-year-old son, Travion. She was a very people person. She didn't, care, she didn't care who you are, what age you were, the color of your skin, male or female. She she will sit and have a whole conversation with you. Stanley was born with cerebral palsy, but loved ones say that didn't stop her from living life to the fullest. Their message to motorists, slow down. I mean, drive the speed limit, that's what they're there for. Uh, and pay attention to the road. Now, the driver involved in this deadly crash stayed on the scene. Police say the driver is cooperating with officers. All right, Carlos, thank you very much. More breaking news coming into our newsroom.